Hi, welcome to day 24 of 31. We're almost to the end of the month. Um, I have been posting self-tape auditions every day all of this week. I have been posting monologues and today's the last monologue. <laughs> I'm so excited because just every day I'm like, oh shoot, I need to film, I need to film, I need to film. And monologues are by far the hardest that I've done all month because I started with um, questions, you know, just answering questions that you might get asked in commercials, then commercial actions, then skills. And now I have been doing monologues and it's a bit hard. It's a lot easier for me to memorize um, scenes because, you know, you're going back and forth and uh, memorizing a bunch of uh, text is a bit harder. But today I'm going to be performing a monologue from Search Party. I am uh, playing Polly and um, it is about this long, just this much of the page, but it's about two and a half minutes and it is a prosecutor in court you know talking about some evidence and so that's what i'm going to be doing i am almost almost off book but i want to hold this because i don't want to do a million takes because i forget what the next word is so um yes here is my self-tape for today hi my name is belgica rodriguez and i'll be auditioning for polly i want you to imagine for a moment that you are the ceo of a fabulous company a fashion magazine or something. Now like that, it is 2.59 and you are preparing for your three o'clock appointment. It's an interview for a high level position and you have been looking for somebody to fill that for months. In walk Story Seif and boy does she fit the part. Fashionable, young, bright, dynamic, attractive, intelligent, educated, independent, diverse. She's a little shy at first, but you find it endearing. It makes her humble. And you feel an instant connection because she feels authentic. But boy, would you be wrong. Never in a million years would you guess she's strung along her boyfriend like a slave manipulating him to carry out her plot of seduction, mutilation, and bloodshed. You'd never guess that because she played you like a fiddle. But she's like me, you might say, because you don't want to believe that she is capable of such darkness. But she is. She's actually a product of the absolute worst elements of today's society. To me, she's a symbol. The embodiment of entitlement, the epitome of moral corruption. And as we've come to find out, she's even a media whore. The truth is that Dory Seif could not get any job she applied for, so she, therefore she had nothing to do with her life. And that malaise turned into self-hatred. And that self-hatred turned into a rage. A rage that burned so hot that the only thing that could put it out could be the taste of blood. And so she beat the life out of Keith Powell, a man who felt safe with her. And she enlisted the agentless help of her boyfriend to watch and participate. And then they covered it all up because they knew that what they did was wrong and they did not want to get caught. Ladies and gentlemen, the worst part of all of this is that Dory Steve shows no remorse, no repentance, and no empathy. She lies and lies and lies and she loves how good she is at it. There's a word for people like her. Evil. Okay, so I did like five or six takes and uh, turns out this monologue is actually closer to three and a half minutes. I timed it just reading it before I started memorizing it, but performing it, it is, uh, I got between three minutes and 10 seconds to three minutes and 22 seconds. So, um, it's a little bit of a longer monologue and I would love to play a 
pretty much anything, honestly, in a procedural. Um, and a prosecutor would be super fun to play. So that's like my little take at it. This is the first time I've ever actually played a part like this. So I'm definitely going to keep working on it because I would love to use this actual, some of this clip. Um, once I rehearse it a little bit more, because of course this monologue is not perfect, but you know, this is what I would do at an audition if this was an, an audition that uh, I got, you know, last night and would have to perform it today. So that's how I'm treating it. Of course, if you have more time to rehearse and get feedback, etc., then it would be better. But let me know what you thought regardless. And thank you so much for watching. At the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video and leave me a comment. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the first day of scenes.